Schofield sneakers feels good to be back. I mean, back at it again. First time in at least three months that I'll be posting an actual sneaker video. Surprising, right? I know everybody's been asking me, where's the next Schofield sneakers video coming out? Well, it's right here. And today I will be showing you guys my hype beast slash streetwear slash sneaker collection midway through the year of 2018. So first off, you know, this is Schofield sneakers, so it might as well just fit perfectly that I start off with the sneakers. And first off is my brand new pair of Derek Jeter Lowe's, the Jordan 11s. See, now, these are just straight fire. Like, honestly, I can't even imagine. But, so they have the two on the back, and it says respect on the tongue, and they're pretty much just full-on blue suede, and obviously it's Derek Jeter's shoe. And see, my grandma got these for me, so they're pretty special to me. And see, so yeah, let's go on to the next shoe. Now, the next shoe I have here is a pair that, honestly, I wasn't really sure about at first. But I'm starting to like them now. And that is the Jordan 3 Infrared. And honestly, the colorway I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily too sure about, but they're pretty cool. They have the Jordan Air on the back. Just a white shoe. I don't know. They're not too crazy. They're just... Yeah, they're Jordan 3, so you can't really go wrong with it. But, yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so my next one is another infrared shoe, but it won't be the last one. It'll just probably be a while till you guys see the next one. So the next one I have is just the normal infrared 6. This isn't the black infrared 6, but you'll be seeing that later. So stay later to watch. So basically just has the normal 6 outsole translucent. Just kind of more of a neon reddish oranges color. And then just a normal Jordan Air. And yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one that I do have. I wasn't sure about these at first. And I wasn't even, I've never seen them before. So then when I actually looked into them, it is the Laney Jordan 5. And I thought these were a Michigan sort of colorway. Which kind of ended up being true. I obviously got the translucent Jordan outsole. The basically Michigan Wolverines colorway and it's just a normal Jordan 5 but I started to like these more and let's go to the next one okay so my next one is the first pair that probably you guys are starting to care about and you guys more know and this is the Space Jam 11 see now this shoe is very special to me because honestly it's just straight fire why wouldn't you want one of these and it's my first shoe that actually got me into sneakers or supreme or any of that stuff and so it's just kind of special and i never actually sell these or give them away or trade them i just thought they were really cool so yeah that's the space jam 11 and let's go to the next one okay so my next pair of shoes are not jordan not nmds or not easy's but they're just the nike prestos and the just all white these are honestly just really just kind of some lifestyle shoes that honestly wouldn't really be bad for anyone and I wear them quite a bit obviously you can tell they're pretty beat up I just got them at a basketball tournament and I just wear them around quite a bit whenever I just need a shoe just to kind of put on and just go somewhere so yeah this is Nike Presto let's go to the next one okay so the next one I have isn't necessarily a sneaker surprising correct and it's a pair of Birkenstocks so, when I first got these, I was, honestly, I just, I went to my brother's baseball game, and I saw these girls that had them on, and I was like, I need to cop a pair. So, that's what exactly what I did, and I cop a pair of Birkenstocks, and honestly, they're not super comfortable, I mean, but the chicks dig them, so. Okay, so the next pair that I have, is is, it is my first pair of Adidas that I'm showing on this list today. And that is my Adidas NMD R2s. Not a crazy hyped colorway, just kind of a normal one that you could probably see in Nordstrom or something. And honestly, the R2s aren't necessarily my favorite NMDs, but you can't really go wrong with a pair of NMDs. They got boosts, so they're lightweight, just they're still they're still pretty slim fit and just really look really nice. 
So let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one, back to Jordans, because that's basically what you're going to see on this whole video. And it's the Jordan 10 Bulls Over Broadway. And so these ones are kind of different on how I got them. I didn't just win them from anything or anything. But I actually traded for these, and I traded some Black Great Fives for these and a pair of Crazy Explosives. And honestly, I think it was... And maybe it wasn't necessarily the smartest deal financially or anything, but uh, I just destroyed the crazy explosives. And these ones I just kind of wear around just as a casual shoe, maybe for four games or anything. These ones are actually pretty cool. They show all of Jordan's, I don't know, highlights or whatever on the bottom of the shoe. So yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one I have is another pair of Jordans, the Jordan 5 grape colorway. I don't really have anything special to say about these. They're they're just some Jordan Grace. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, nothing spectacular about them, but just a nice shoe that I really like and probably will keep for a while. Okay, the next one I have is one of my favorite shoes that I have, and that is the Jordan 11 Win Like 96. So these shoes got a lot of hate from me because I made a review about them. But honestly, they're just straight fire, so I don't really care. And so they got the translucent outsole. And I got them. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for these. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so this shoe will put us halfway through the shoes. Then I will put down in the description where the Supreme or all the hype clothing slash accessories and all that stuff down in the description. So check that if you just want to go straight to there. But the next shoe we have is the Jordan Retro 5 Fire Red, which honestly, I like them. The only thing I do not like about them is this black tongue, which is kind of why I don't wear them that much. I mean, they're obviously pretty cool. I've worn them quite a bit, but they're just... Air Jordan 5, so let's go to the next. Okay, so the next one is a classic shoe, and that's the Jordan 1 Royal. And there's nothing really much to say about it. It's just kind of a classic shoe, and pretty much anyone knows it if they have any idea about sneakers. So that's pretty much it. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one is my favorite shoe that I own. And if you know who I am, it will not come to a surprise to you. It's the Zebra 350. And these are my favorite shoes. They've always just been whatever. If I could get a shoe, what would I pick? I'd pick the Z350 in the Zebra colorway. And honestly, I've worn these so much that I've just cleaned them so much and there's still some dirt spots on them. And really, that's what's going to happen when you wear your favorite shoes quite a bit. So let's go to the next one, and this was the Easy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. Okay, so the next one I have here is an interesting looking shoe, and it's the Jordan 1 Gold Toe. So the thing is with this shoe, so on this side you can obviously see it's the white right here, but on the other side it has black, so it's kind of just kind of a mix between two shoes, I guess. And the thing is with these shoes, if you see me walking around, you haven't probably seen these on my feet much because I've only wore them once. And that's just because these shoes are massive. You do not want to go a size big on these ones. But obviously, I got them when they released, so I didn't necessarily have a choice. But I'm super glad that I ended up getting these because these are just straight fire. Okay, so the next shoe I have is another Jordan. I know you're like, oh, he's going to say another Jordan. Well, shut up. You're watching this video for a reason. And the next one I have is a Jordan 4 White Cement. And these are honestly one of my favorite shoes that I have. And they're not super expensive, super crazy. I mean, they're expensive, but they're not like super hyped or anything. I just really like the look of them. And these are the first shoes that my grandma got for me. So it's just kind of sentimental in a way. And so yeah, these were the Jordan 4 White Cements. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next shoe I have, not in a Jordan, surprising, right? Okay, so the next shoe I have is another pair of NMDs, and this are like the shit, Semoshaki, I don't know, I don't speak Japanese, so how should I know how to say it? And these NMDs are just kind of a zebra colorway, and they're not super rare, super expensive. I traded them for a pair of Air Forces, shout out to Cantrell, thanks for the plug. 
And yeah, that's about it for these. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so next one I have just another pair of Jordan 3s. And this is the Fear 3. Actually, quite rare model. And I didn't realize with these when I got it. Um, but I don't necessarily like... Like, it's not like I dislike it at all. But it's just not a shoe that I would choose to wear over any of, like, say, my Yeezys or my one like 96s or my Space Jams. It's just a shoe that it's cool if, like, um, I don't know. It's just kind of a cool shoe if you didn't necessarily have a crazy pair of shoes you wanted to wear. But the insole is really nice. It has some words in it, but I can't read it right now because it still has the stuff in it. Keep me on bed stock. Comment down below if you would like to trade for them. And see so yeah, how that's about it for the Fear 3s. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next shoe I have. Second to last shoe. And then it gets to the Supreme and all that. And the next shoe I have is the Jordan 12 Bordeaux. And I wore these shoes quite a bit. I actually wore them for basketball until I actually got some basketball shoes. But I wore these quite a bit when I first got into the sneakers and everything. And I just... I thought they were really cool. I got them when they released. I thought they were going to be pretty hype. Didn't turn out to be that way, but I still really like the model and I still really like the colorway. So this is Jordan 12 Bordeaux and let's go to the last shoe. Okay, so now we have the last shoe and it's the Jordan 3 Black Cement. I got these shoes on a Black Friday deal at GF Shoes in the South Hill Mall. And honestly, these are one of my favorite shoes that I have. I got them beat up, but it doesn't really matter. Jordan 3s look good beat up anyway. And so this will be the last shoe that you'll see for a while because I'll go into a second segment where I will be switching locations and I will be going from this Supreme or this babe to my next set of sneakers and my next set of hyped clothing. So I'll see you when I get to, the, to clothing. Okay. So this is the first piece of hyped clothing slash accessories. And the first shirt I have, I guess, well, I'll be showing you the shirts first, is a Supreme Diamonds tee. See, now this shirt, it's one of my favorite shirts that I have. And it's just a really cool shirt. Like, I don't know why I wouldn't wear it. I mean, you gotta, it's got the money symbol. You got to flex on the haters. Uh, it just says Supreme across the front. And then on the back, there's nothing really special. Supreme tag. Do a legit jacket. I mean, I don't wear fakes. Like, why would I wear fakes? And let's go to the next article of clothing then. Okay, so the next shirt I have isn't necessarily too cool, and I haven't really wore it that much, uh, but it's the Checkerboard Supreme Hanes shirt, and it does say Supreme, it says it down there. And I do have the Hanes white and black Supreme shirts, but I just didn't really think that would be very interesting because... It just says Supreme down in the corner. This one I thought would be at least a little bit interesting so I could at least tell you about the other two and I could at least show you this one because it has more of an eye-catching shirt, I guess. Um, but the other ones I just kind of use as athletic shirts if I have a game or something. And so yeah, let's go to the next one. The next shirt I have is the only long sleeve that I'll, that I'll be making this list because it's the only one that I have. It's not ugly, I guess. And this one is the Supreme Independent Long Sleeve. And it says this down here, but this is a PC channel, so we, keep, we don't say that. And then it just says Supreme on the back side. And that's basically it for this one, so let's go to the, to the next shirt. Okay, so the next shirt I have is the first one that is not Supreme, but it will not be the last. But it will be at this location, but at the next one it will be something else. And so this one is just a Palace t-shirt. And it just says palace across the front and some orange. I have no idea what the font is. Just some letters and yeah, that's basically it. So let's go to the sweatshirts. Okay, so the next one I do have isn't a sweatshirt, even though I said it was going to be. But basically the same thing. It's a jacket. It's not Supreme Bape or anything. It's just a Y3 jacket. It says it on the back. Nothing super special on the front. Just a normal black jacket with the Y3 on the back. And that's it, so let's go to the hype ones. Okay, so this is the first sweatshirt, the first one you guys are probably looking for. And this is my Bathing Ape sweatshirt. It says Bathing Ape across the front, just kind of some camo uh, print. And this is the only one that will not be Supreme, 
that's a sweatshirt on this video. So let's go to the next one. Okay. So now we're at the Supreme Sweatshirts, the most wanted, the most fought after. And I'm gonna go from least hype to most hype for these. And the first one I have just came out recently. This is the Supreme Bless hoodie. And it just has some little pictures across the front. Su Supreme, just do it. Um, love not force. Uh, bless, and that's pretty much it. And so that hoodie was my first Supreme one. Let's show you the rest. Okay, so my next one is my next Supreme sweatshirt. And this one was a St. Patrick's Day gift. And it is the Supreme Corner Label Hoodie. So it's Supreme down here, and it's where the pocket is. And that's really the only Supreme branding or any branding across this one. So it's not a super, oh my gosh, what is he wearing? It's just kind of, oh, he's wearing Supreme. So, yeah. Well, let's go to my Holy Grail of clothing. Okay, so this is my Holy Grail of my Hype Beast collection recently acquired this is my supreme box logo hoodie it's the navy one uh it's real don't even try and say it's fake you're a hater if you do and you know we dab on the haters and so yeah this is my favorite anything that i could ever ask um it just blows my mind away that i actually have one now and so yeah I'll see you guys at the next location, and that will be it for this location and all the stuff here. The next one should be shorter, so peace. Okay, so I'm at my next location, and I will show you the clothing items first before I show you the shoes, because that's what we're already into. So for the first one up, I have my bathing ape shirt, and it just says bathing ape across the front. That's about it for this one. And for my... Supreme sweatshirt that I have here. It's just this one right here. It says Supreme 2017 across the front. That's about it. And we'll go into the sneakers right now. Okay, so the first one I have is just some Jordan 4 Pure Monies. They are super spectacular. They're kind of my beaters now. Just kind of wear them whenever I have to go somewhere. So yeah, the next one I got is Air Max 270s. These were my track shoes, but I cleaned them up and now I'm going to wear them kind of more around more. Just the black and white color, nothing special. The next one I have is my only pair of Ultra Boots, and it's just this black and silver color. Um, I really like them, they're really comfortable. I haven't got to wear them a lot. Um, but yeah, they're just a pair of Ultra Boots. One of my pairs of NMDs, the XR1s, these were like the first Adidas pairs that I ever got when I first got into shoes, and yeah, I really like them, I wear them a lot, they're pretty dirty, but I don't really care because I really like them. I got the sock darts, I got them at a Nike outlet, and they're not super exciting, not super cool or anything, they're just some all black sock darts. There's also the Harden Lifestyles. They're kind of basically the Harden ones, but this was more boost and you can see it more. And I wore these for basketball until I got my LeBrons and my PGs. Uh, the next one I have uh, is this just NMD R2. Nothing special, I think it's just called the Dark Harvest. And the last shoe and the last thing on this list will be the Jordan 6 infrared and the black ones. Okay. So thank you guys if you guys made it to the end. And this is season two of Skillfield Sneakers. I'll be posting more videos soon. Hopefully more like this. And see you guys next time. Peace.